Coming up on Real TV, Charleston receives snow to start off 2018. I'll show you all about this winter wonderland coming up in the show. Today on Real TV, a winter storm blows through, leaving behind picture perfect snow that turned into quite a mess. See how it affected us and what some of you did during and after the storm. Plus, hear what it was like working in the hospital during the storm from one of our own teachers. And our winter sports team had a little bit of a break, but it's back to business. We'll get you updated with the newest information. It's Friday, January 12th, 2018. And you're watching Real TV. Good morning, I'm Mackenzie Hagwood. And I'm Daniel Wood. Welcome back and Happy New Year. It's been three weeks since school let out for winter break, and what a way to start 2018 with the snow that covered the low country. The snow came down last Wednesday, the third, and just kept falling into the night. On Thursday morning, we woke up to a beautiful winter wonderland. The low country started off 2018 with a snowy start. On Wednesday, temperatures did not exceed freezing. In the early morning hours, freezing rain began to fall resulting in dangerous road conditions and many businesses closing for the day. By midday, the freezing rain changed into snow all across the greater Charleston area. The snow fell for the entire day, producing several inches of snow across the area. The majority of the snowfall came to a stop between 8 and 9 o'clock Wednesday night. Now, the snow is here to stay, possibly throughout the weekend. Temperatures are expected to remain at or just below freezing throughout the weekend. However, once temperatures do exceed 32 degrees and the sunlight is direct enough, the snow will slowly begin to melt. However, this process will not be quick as temperatures are expected to dip below freezing each night, resulting in the snow getting more compact and causing more dangerous icy conditions. The actual snowfall may be gone now, but the impact of this winter blast is sure to be felt for several more days, especially on roadways. Well-traveled roads are clearing quickly but many rural area roads are still a slick sheet of ice. Regardless of the brutal temperatures and icy conditions, this is a true winter wonderland for Charlestonians. The area has not seen this amount of snow in quite some time, and we aren't sure of when we'll see it again. Unlike winter storms in the past, the snow and the ice didn't quickly melt away. Areas of roads with snow and slush turned into ice, creating dangerous conditions that lasted from Thursday through the middle of this week. School was canceled on Tuesday for students here in Berkeley County, as well as in Charleston County and Dorchester County due to icy conditions left on some of the roads. The icy slush left behind from the snow kept first responders busy for days after the storm had passed. Health science teacher Mrs. Lanfear works part-time as a nurse in the emergency room at Somerville Medical Center. She says that last Saturday was one of the busiest days she's ever seen working in the ER. We had every bed filled, we had hall beds filled, and we even had some of the rooms double bunked with people that were waiting to go upstairs because the hospital was over capacity. We had a lot of car accidents, minor injuries, um, we had some falls. I think there was one case where someone broke their leg when they were in a man versus snowman incident. Many roads here in Goose Creek, including Crowfield Boulevard, right in front of Stratford, were closed for several days. According to the South Carolina Highway Patrol, there were more than 300 collisions in the low country from Wednesday morning through Friday. 138 collisions alone in Berkeley County. They don't understand snow and ice. Um, they don't understand how to navigate a vehicle if it starts to slide, unless they've come from the north and they're used to dealing with it. Um, a lot of vehicles went in the, you know, went off the road because they didn't know how to navigate a vehicle once it started sliding. You know, I understand you want to get out, you want to drive, you want to look at all the snow, you want to see, because South Carolina hasn't seen that much snow in years. Um, but whenever you don't listen to warnings of staying off the road, it's you put yourself in danger, and then you put others and first responders in danger also. Not only were there collisions, but there were many cars stranded on the side of the road, not able to drive out of the slippery ice. The storm also shut down Charleston International Airport for several days. The last time we saw snowfall here was in 2010. The National Weather Service says up to six inches of snow fell in Somerville and five in Charleston. That's the most accumulation since December 1989. Wow. Some parts of the low country measured snow higher than that. The snowstorm forced many of us to stay put inside of our homes for several days. And we made the most of this rare sight by simply playing, playing in, in the, the snow. snow. There were lots of snow angels, snowball fights, snowmen building, and even homemade snow cream. 
So what did you do this past week during the winter storm? Here's what some of you have to say in this week's Stratford Speaks. A lot of my time outside, so I was like in the snow because I've never seen snow like that before. Um, and then other than that, kind of stayed inside, tried to keep warm, like watch movies and things like that. Jumped in the pool, we had a snowball fight, and we had a really intense game of Monopoly. So. I went outside and played in the snow for about 15 minutes, and then I got too cold and uh, went back inside by the fire for a little while. And then I went outside, made snowmen, made a snow angel, and then realized once again, I hate the snow and it's cold. I hung out with friends and then I played in the snow. That's pretty much it. <laughs> During the winter storm, we were advised to stay off the road if you did not necessarily have to go to stay inside. So I followed the rules. I stayed inside and, and eat and <laughs> sleep. I hung out with my friends. I did some really lame stuff like I read some good books and watched some good movies and I slept the majority of the time. I drove around and did donuts in the school parking lot. Then, then I went home, I laid on the couch with my down comforter and went to sleep. And I napped most of the time. Make sure to tag your snow pictures using hashtag RealTV1718. And don't forget, stick around for the end of the show to see how our faculty enjoyed their snow day. So the question many of you are wondering is when we will make up Tuesday's canceled school day. Well, the school district has not yet made an announcement. Remember, it was just five months ago in September when Hurricane Irma came very close to bringing us strong winds and rainfall that caused major flooding all over the low country. School was canceled for three days on September 8th, 11th, and 12th. Those weather makeup days have already been marked for use on the district calendar. In other school news, with the distribution of report cards yesterday, it's a great time to see if you qualify for the academic rally. That's right. The academic rally is an annual event held in the spring that recognizes good behavior, attendance, and grades. The celebration is held on the front lawn of the school with food, games, music, and entertainment. Those requirements are no ISS or OSS, three or less unexcused absences, and you must have an 85 quarterly average or a five-point improvement in your quarterly average. Also to attend the rally, you must qualify for two out of the three quarters, and the rally is held in April or May. Listen up for more information as we get closer to the date. Stratford's basketball teams had some success over winter break. We'll tell you how they played, plus give you some new dates for making up games from the snow right here in sports. Several sporting events are getting rescheduled over the next few weeks because of last week's snow. Starting with Stratford's basketball, the Knights are supposed to take on Goose Creek Gators on January 5th. Those games will now take place on January 22nd at Goose Creek. The Knights wrestling team was supposed to compete against James Island on January 4th. That match has now been moved to January 29th at James Island. We'll keep you updated on those contests over the next few weeks. Before all the snow hit, Shafford's boys basketball team had a strong showing in Berkeley's high school basketball tournament. The Knights lost to Dutch Fort in their opener, won two games against Georgetown and Cross. Tate Eady led the Knights in scoring against Dutch Fort and Georgetown, scoring 30 points in those two games. In the Knights two wins, Eric Burtz recorded double doubles in each game. Burke had 11 points and 16 rebounds against Georgetown, and 13 points and 26 boards against Cross. I mean, we're definitely getting better. Our team chemistry is getting better, and uh, we're on a two-game win streak, so that's always important. All Wednesday, the boys lost Asher Ridge 56 to 47. The boys are in action tonight at Wando. The tip-off is at 8:30. The boys want their only hoops team to find success. Over the break, the girls' basketball team got its first two wins of the season at the annual Carolina Invitational. Lady Knights won a throwing 67 to 66 contest against the Palmetto Scholars Academy in double overtime. Sophomore shooting guard Peyton Lee scored 24 points in the win against Palmetto Scholars. The girls also beat Charlotte Christian 39 to 32. Senior point guard Bailey Miller was the leading scorer in that game with 12 points. Our team's confidence was definitely boosted up that day. We realized we had to work together to win everything we did and we definitely became more of a team that day. Lady Knights look for a region win tonight as they travel to Wanzo to face the Warriors at 7 tonight. Lastly, any boy interested in playing golf needs to go to a mandatory meeting next Thursday after school. You'll find out more information about trial dates. If you have any questions, see Coach K in room 304. And that's all for sports. And that's all for today's Real TV. Don't forget that there is no school Monday in observance of Martin Luther King Jr. holiday. We'll see you back here on Tuesday. Have a great three-day weekend. <laughs> I'm off to a January night. Look at
Oh, man!